Welcome to Red 35 and if you're alive and breathing, you probably know that Apple had just released their new lines of iPhone. I'm super pumped about this. No, but we're not reviewing that today. We're looking at something from Sandmark, their brand new cinema kit with filter set for your iPhone. If you have been following our channel, you will remember that we previously reviewed the Sandmark Premium Ultra Wide Angle Lens for the iPhone. And they have been quite kind to send me another set of products to review, which I have them all here today. Their brand new telephoto lens and <laughs> a set of filters. The build quality of the Sandmark Tele lens is actually very, very nice. It's just identical to the previously reviewed wide angle lens because they are built almost identical as well. You know, if you look at the design, very chubby, very yeah, square looking kind of thing. Uh, it, does, it definitely has some weight to it. But having said that, you know, you compare to these two, which I also previously reviewed, the Bitplay HD Tele lens and also the still the king of iPhone lenses, the Zeiss EXO lens, telephoto lens. Uh, they actually weight about the same, even though the Zeiss looks a bit bigger. And, uh, but they're all very, very well built lenses. They're all fully metal built. Um, I, I don't think I have anything to complain about it because I remember I actually dropped the lens in, in the, uh, in, uh, dropped the wide angle lens when I was reviewing it and uh, it, it survived. So I have no doubt about the build quality. This is actually very good. And, fully glass elements as well, not plastic, which means only one thing, sharper images. In terms of image quality, I'm actually very, very impressed with this guy here. Uh, I could actually easily say that it compares very, very well with their own ultra wide angle lens, which means very sharp, you know, corner to corner. Central sharp is definitely, definitely very, very comparable to the top performers like the Zeiss. Uh, I cannot test the flare resistance, however, because we've got no suns now. The sun's gone. Um, and so it's, but, but I could actually say, you know, by just looking at the lens itself, you can see some sort of anti reflecting coating has been applied to the front elements. Uh, you can see that kind of purple ish color there. Uh, so I, I, I guess it has some sort of flare resistance, maybe very similar again compared to the wide angle lens. Uh, but in terms of overall performance, I, I wouldn't complain at all because it's, it's pretty decent. I'm impressed. Look at that detail. God, look at that. Jeez, that is... That's, that's not bad. That's not bad. Let's see the corner. Corner is not too bad. Top end is better than the lower end. The lower end is a little bit mushy. And that corner is similar. The top end looks good too. This end. And... Uh, not much chromatic aberrations, but it's very sharp in the center. And now I have to go back home and look at it on this big screen to see whether it's actually that good. And by the way, I'm actually shooting raw, so I might have to process these as well. If we live it up. There's always one concern whenever I use this Sandmark lenses, especially with its case. Well, it's this case is definitely very, very thin. It doesn't offer any kind of drop protections, only cosmetic protections only, like scratches and things like that. Um, and also, because of the weight of the lens, you know, even though it's not particularly heavy, but once mounted, it's definitely 
like kind of tilting forward and and the slippery surfaces on the case itself doesn't really help either because you know if you have, if you have any sweaty hands you know over time you might actually find this extremely slippery and then it may be quite dangerous when you are kind of running around and doing some sort of action shots um, so overall I don't think it's actually I wouldn't say bad but certainly not great however the kit does also come with this which I am totally in love with which is the 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 clip clip thing uh, which you know Charlie really liked before uh, as, a, as a hair clip so you with the with the clip itself you can use any phone cases including those gigantic thick uh, otter box cases or life proof cases so the, the clip itself is very simple you screw the lens on just like any other uh, uh, clips that you, you see in the market but I do like the fact that you know it has an adjustable angle piece here which allowing the the lens to sit flush to the uh, to the actual iPhone lenses itself which is actually amazing and another benefit of using the clips is you can use both front and back which I actually think is a pretty cool thing I got the letter that you left in my mailbox sometimes love ain't meant to last Ever. It turns me back into the stone man I was people. I did mention not just the tele lens that Sandmark has sent me, because they also had the filter set kit, which is specifically designed for filmmaking or long exposures. This is their latest clippy clippy thing filter set, which I think is actually the very best in the market because no one else has done it. So they are the first one to do this kind of thing uh, which is actually quite interesting because again using a clip which means that it fits any kind of phone cases and also any brand so which is actually quite nice so the only thing is you just basically clip it on well as you can see there's nothing on at the moment because you have to screw in the filters yourself and there are two sets of filters uh, you can buy them individually or as a kit uh, so that is the polarizer polarizing filter and they have also ND filters which is great for filming if you want to reduce the uh, the frame rate in bright situations today is probably okay we don't have to use these but you know these are very good they have ND4, ND8 and ND16 which is awesome if you want to uh, uh, like slow it down so for some cinematic stuff or even like for long exposure photographers uh, photography which is yeah quite decent and all you need to do is just screw in the filters um, let me demonstrate it to you it's very simple and straightforward and I think it's actually pretty good itself and uh, especially I think the, 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 the polarizer is actually very useful in both photography and videography if you want to get the punchy colors and reduce the glare from the uh, from the lake or water services or any shiny services to, for that matter so all you need to do is just screw it in very simple and that's it that's all you get and because it's a polarizer a circular polarizer you can rotate the front elements to the desired effect that you really want to achieve which is great you know like I haven't seen anything like this before in the market and that's certainly very good I know you can get some sort of adapters and like mounts and step up rings and things like to use it but there's no such an integrated and all-in-one solution just like this this is good I like that a lot So this is with the polarizers mounted. As you can see when I'm turning the polarizers, that's when you can control the reflection. Awesome. This is, this is brilliant. This is really good because especially on iPhone, the dynamic range is not great as, but compared to bigger cameras and then this is really helps a lot. Just look at that. This is just good. <laughs> I'm impressed. <laughs> So, as you can see, it also makes a difference in terms of the reflection. You can see my helmet there. While I'm turning the polarizers, and also my face. So you can almost kind of even out the, the harshness in the skin tone, depending on the angle of the light. And of course, you know, the best is still trying to angle yourself if you're using the front camera, because the front camera has always got even less dynamic range compared to the, front, uh, the back camera but 
it helps. Everything helps. So uh, these polarizers is definitely very good, especially because it's a clippy thing. You can use front and back camera. Awesome. Yeah, like that. It's been years, but this feels like it's just beginning. I must admit that I had doubts about Sandmark uh, in the smartphone markets in general uh, in the long term, but they have proven me wrong with the release of their cinema kit with this brand new tele lens and the ultra useful filter kit sets and i think they are just brilliant you know um, one thing i did forget to mention is that their filters can also be mounted on their own lenses which means they now have a ecosystem for accessory and lenses which is actually very very good now they have upped the game so much that they are definitely in serious position to compete with all the top players out there now. So, highly recommended. And be play and moment, the game is on. Well, if you enjoyed the video you just saw and yeah, you know what to do. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and turn on the bell thing to stay notified so you know when our next video is coming out. So until next time, ciao ciao. Welcome to Red Set. Are you filming now? <laughs> All right, okay. Uh, if you are alive and breathing, you probably know that I... <laughs> iPhone. <laughs> Their telephoto cine line with filters. No, not filter. Not cine line. Cine kit. Cine kit with filter, with filter set. Oh. I see that has some water as well. Like having like swinging the water out. If you have been watching our channel, then you remember you're like, oh, whoo, whoo, whoo. okay. You uh, <laughs> breathe. <sighs> okay. A brand new set of filter, which is kind of weird. And they just kindly sent me a brand new set of products to review as well, which I have them all here. Well, the... <laughs> what happened to me today? Where? Can't see it. Nope, can't see it. I can see the horse there. Can I see the horse? Can I see the horse? I want to see the horse. Oh, uh, just about. Uh, I'm good. <laughs>